reliability issues. So, fuel filter, it's a big one. I see it come up a lot. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of instances. Now, Husqvarna don't actually have it in their service schedule to change the fuel filter, funnily enough. But every 10,000 Ks, you've got to change the fuel screen, which is just before the injector and your throttle body. Um, if you don't know where that is, it actually says it here. If you see in your book, check fuel screen and page 167 and replace every 10,000. So every 10,000 Ks you're meant to check and change your fuel screen, not your fuel filter. It just says check fuel pressure. Now for all you guys that do all your own maintenance, who can check fuel pressure? Not many people. Who's gonna have the tools to do it? Not many people. So, what affects fuel pressure? Fuel filter. When do you replace it? Well, again, <laughs> it's a guess. Um, so if you're doing your own maintenance, uh, I've done some testing on several bikes, uh, 690s, 701s, and I would say you should be replacing your fuel filter every 10,000 Ks maximum. So I'm going to show you a couple of photos here of um, a fuel filter that I pulled out of my bike had done about 7,000 Ks. So that's this one. So I've cut the plastic off of this so you can actually uh, see the insides of it. This is the fuel that actually came out of it, black as. And this is the filter that sits on top of the actual fuel pump itself. And again, cut open. Um, this is all done about 7,000 Ks. And now we pulled a, another fuel filter out of a bike we believe is done around about that 12, 13,000 Ks, maybe a tiny bit more. And that is this one. Now, as you can see the difference, uh, the second one that's done a few more Ks, well, and this is where reliability comes in, it's actually sucked the filter in um, with the fuel pressure and what happens is the pump is then working harder than it needs to and those Chinese pumps they have in these things, they just give up, they die. It's quite common. Um, so replace the filter means that the pump can, you know, work freely and not have to work so hard. So that's a good thing to stop it from actually failing. And if anyone wants to know where the filter is, well, they're actually inside the tank. So this is your bottom of your tank. You gotta actually do these four bolts. Pull this out, but you've gotta make sure your fuel's pretty well empty, because you're gonna lose whatever's in there. And it's actually up inside there. I'm sure there's stacks of videos around on how to replace the fuel filter, so maybe go and check out one of those. Um, I've recently done mine again. And also, I don't run the standard pump. I use that as a backup one in my kit. I use a one from Ray Garage, just a Japanese pump. So I ditched the Chinese one and got a Japanese one. If you want to see the difference, I'll give you a pick here. Um, but you'll find them, uh, Ray Garage, uh, I think Mark, from Adventure Bike Components, or I'll put a link in there anyway, where you can get those pumps from. But if you're worried about reliability, change your filters and get rid of that Chinese pump and put this um, Japanese pump in, we've never had a problem. And I think Mark said he's have, never had a failure with those black pumps either, so don't end up on a truck, that's the way to go. Uh, I also run um, fuel filler socks. So that's a sock that runs inside your fuel tank. I run fuel socks on my front and rear tanks. So I have a sock in there and I have a sock inside there. The back one, yes it slows everything down, it's a pain in the ass to put fuel in, but check out how much crap they uh, stop going into your tank. So am I going to keep running them? Absolutely. 
um, they're definitely worth it. So it's, uh, from VentureBike components as well, um, you can just drop them straight in your tank. The back one, you've got to undo three little um, bolts, pull the back filler cap off and drop the uh, sock in and then put the two, put the plate back on. All right, hope that helps.